Mountain Drones and today I am super excited because I'm going to be opening up my brand new FPV drone, the DJI Avada. Now you might be wondering why I have two different boxes here and that's because after I finally got the wife's approval and we decided to pull the trigger on the Avada, I got a little too excited and first ordered the Pro View. But after I did more research, I've realized what I actually wanted was the Explorer combo that comes with the new Integra goggles. So I will be sending the Pro View version back. And finally, before I start unboxing, I wanted to go ahead and ask you to please consider subscribing for more content. We are a brand new channel here on YouTube, so it would really help us out if you give us a like and subscribe to our channel. All right, let's do it. Let me make sure this is the right one that I want to keep. Explorer combo. All right. I don't know why I'm being so delicate. Oh, I'm so happy it got here today. I had to leave work twice thinking it was coming and that I had to give the code to get it delivered. We got the drone in one box and the goggles and motion controller two in the other box. What should I open first? Hmm. All right, I guess let's open the drone first. It's pretty heavy. I know compared to the Mini 3 Pro, it's a lot heavier. Wow, pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we have in here. I think just one battery comes in here. Oh, this is the charger, I guess. Some extra propellers here, it looks like. Oh, here we've got just a, a little Allen wrench and some s screws for the propeller. And here is our charger, charging cable. All right, now I guess I'll move on to the goggles and the motion controller. Pretty cool, alien-like. Here we have all the different diopters that you can use, change out the lenses, depending on your eyes. Some more seals to go around your the eye lens part. The head strap that you can add to the top of the, the head. I probably won't do that because of my ponytail unless it just feels really unstable without it. Wrist strap.
here's the motion controller. I know a lot of people hate on this, but I'm excited to try it. From the things that I've heard, people initially thought that they weren't going to like it, but then after they gave it a good shot, they thought it was pretty fun. So as a new FPV pilot, I am interested to get started with this. But I also have my FPV traditional RC here. It, it got in earlier today and I was too excited so I went ahead and opened it up. So I'm definitely going to learn on that but I'm going to start on the simulator. USB-C to USB input? Hmm. We'll have to see what that's for. All right, so we have our Integra goggles, our Motion Controller 2, our Avada drone, our FPV RC, and now I'm going to open up the Fly More kit. So in here we just have two extra batteries and a charging station. I believe that's all that comes in this Flymore kit, unfortunately. No type of bag or case or another set of propellers or anything like that. So that was a little disappointing to me. The Flymore kit with the Mini 3 Pro came with a good bit of stuff. And this one was almost $300. I think it was $280 or $275 around there. So pretty expensive. But the batteries each, I believe, are 130. And then you also get this charger that can charge four batteries sequentially. It doesn't charge them all at once. Hmm. It's kind of weird how it goes in here. It's kind of nice that the charger is small in comparison to the size of the batteries. The charger of the Mini 3 is so big but I like that that one you can safely carry the batteries in it this one I feel like I wouldn't want to keep the batteries plugged into this and move this around any so I quickly want to look at the size of the Avada compared to my other drone the mini 3 pro wow the weight is just so different the bodies seem fairly similar in size but the Avada does not have any folding parts. So it is bigger. Let's open up the Mini 3 Pro here and take a look. So the wingspan of the Mini 3 Pro is definitely bigger, but it folds up and it's so lightweight. I love this drone. <laughs> manual here. It's probably just a quick start guide and stuff like that. I'm a manual reader. You got to read your manuals to get full use of your products and to really know everything that they can do. Really not much information on here. Looks like the goggles and the motion controller came a little bit charged. I'm going to see what I need to do to connect them to the DJI Fly app. I think I have to connect the goggles through the cord. charging. 